ESPCA kennels are being occupied by a different breed today. Local celebrities are being locked up for the SPCA's annual jail and bail to raise money for the shelter. Brett Morton reports. <laughs> This is not what you expect to see at an animal shelter, but for today, it's transformed into a human kennel to raise money for the SPCA. November and December, but December especially, is such an important month for uh, our organization. People are in the giving mood, and, and we're great beneficiaries of the um, generous people of Lloydminster and the surrounding area. And we need these sorts of events and, and the support of the public to keep our doors open. Councillor Chris McQuid has been involved with the event for the last two years. It's just a yeah, great cause and uh, one that definitely needs uh, our support in the community. So, uh, yeah, one I'm always happy to donate to some of my time to and uh, try to raise some money for. Most of the local celebrities come back each year to help raise money for the shelter. It has become an annual event, which uh, people love and everyone gets really excited for it each year. The people who do it uh, come back every year and try to raise more money than they did last year. Trying to raise a little more every year. I think it was around 1,200 or so last year when I left, so hoping to beat that total this year and about halfway there, so hopefully there's some big donations coming in. This is the second biggest event for the SPCA, but fundraisers aren't the only way you can help out. How important it is for people to get involved. You know, it's great when people make a financial um, commitment, but, you know, time uh, to come and walk these dogs in here and spend time with the cats helps to get them adopted. The SPCA raised $52,000 last year and hoping to beat that amount this year. All money raised goes towards food, vet bills, and upkeep of the facility to give these animals a warm, loving, temporary home until they can find their forever home. Brett Morton, New Cap News. The province of Saskatchewan, in partnership with the federal government, has announced significant funding for farm and food care Saskatchewan. In this week's Ag Report, we take a look at some of the benefits the program has to offer. Graham McCann reports. Over the next three years, the province of Saskatchewan and the federal government will put $300,000 in funding toward a mass public and media agricultural information campaign. Farm and Food Care Saskatchewan is going to be responsible for being a central information hub for any inquiries dealing with agriculture. They're basically uh, a, a, an ag awareness uh, effort and uh, we think that there's a great story to tell out there in agriculture these days. Uh, more and more uh, people are... Uh, uh, you know, farther and farther removed from actual farming and uh, uh, even in Saskatchewan we're quite urbanized these days. And the information available spans virtually the entire agriculture sector of the province from where the food is produced, how the food is produced or even about finding work in the industry. Uh, they might want to know what kind of careers opp opportunities uh, are available in agriculture, uh, cutting edge industry uh, with all kinds of opportunities uh, uh, for careers. The organizations involved span from the Barley Development Commission and the Canola Development to Bison and Cattlemen's Association to name a few. It'll be a one-stop shop for uh, consumer information and also for uh, 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 information for producers uh, about the industry. Contact information for Farm and Food Care Saskatchewan will be available in the coming weeks. Graham McCann, Newcap News.